The time now, it's 11 o'clock on this December 31st, 2013 on a Tuesday night. New Year's Eve 2013 time now for the What Happened Just Your PJ Wiggins, The Late Night Report. Tuesday night, December 31st, 2013. Good evening, everybody, on this final night of 2013. We got 59 minutes and 40 seconds left in the year 2013. Okay, let's do uh, current conditions. We got a temperature of 24 degrees with first skies with a humidity of 62%. Wind speed was about 5 miles per barometer, 3.17 inches, 2.13 degrees, visibly about 10 miles on wind chill, 18 degrees. Okay, let us take a look at our radar scope on this New Year's Eve. We're going to show a couple of blobs of snow showers in central portions of Maine, switching out in over New Hampshire, down for Vermont, and down for eastern New York, down for central New York, down for the western New York, and stretching to down for west central Pennsylvania, down for northern Ohio, down for southern Ontario, down for southern Michigan, down to northern Indiana and Illinois, when Chicago, down for southern portions of Wisconsin. Back to the snow pelts in west. Central and eastern portions of Nova Scotia, the batches of snow showers off the eastern coast of Prince Edward Island, batches of west snow showers in west portion of Prince Edward Island, batches of snow showers in North Michigan and eastern UP of Michigan, and in the south of the line of rain showers in North Eastern Mexico, down for southern Texas and Kirby down for southern Louisiana, down for southern Mississippi, down Alabama, down for western portions of Florida, batches of rain showers off the west. Through coastal Florida of Tampa Bay and then stretching down for central Florida and down for eastern portions of Florida, east coast of batches of rain showers in southern Florida around Miami, down through north of Cuba. And an all, and all line of rain and snow showers on the end, say 25 quarter for, in Cairo from Fort Collins down to Denver, down through Cairo Springs, down in Pueblo, and a batch of snow and sleep belts in western portions of Colorado. Line of snow showers in western portions of Minnesota, down through North Dakota, down through South Dakota, and the sleet and rain belts in the western portions of Nebraska, and a snow showers in eastern portions of Idaho, down through northern Utah, and central and, and western portions of Wyoming, and stretching down through Montana, and down through. Dan Foos, Alberta, and stretching out in the eastern portions of British Columbia, batches of snow showers in western and southeastern portions of Saskatchewan, and a line of rain showers in western and eastern portions of the, the Victoria Island in, in British Columbia. With that, Montana, good evening, 25 degrees with overcast skies. Alright, let us take a look at our satellite. Oh, it shows. <laughs> A line of clouds from Mexico, so and then to Texas, and down to the Gulf states, and down to the southeastern states, and down to the Carolinas, there, and down to Florida. And then, but the clouds covered in Atlanta, Canada, and a batch of clouds from Southern Maine, down to New Hampshire, down to Vermont, down to Southern Quebec, and switch on up, St. New York, down to Pennsylvania, down to Northern West Virginia, down to Ohio, down to Indiana, down to uh, Illinois, down to Southern Portugal, of Wisconsin, down to Michigan, and switching out to Iowa, down to Nebraska, down to the Dakotas, and down to Colorado, stretching out to the Rockies, and then Wyoming, Montana, and Idaho, down to Eastern Oregon, down to North Central Nevada. Down for eastern portion of Washington, and then clouds from southern Saskatchewan, down for Alberta, down for central and western portion of British Columbia, down for western portion of Washington State. Alright, let's take a look at our map situation uh, at the 11th of hour. High pressure centered in northeastern North Dakota, eastern Ohio, central Tennessee, northern Alabama, and southern portions of Texas. And more high pressure located in eastern Utah, northwestern Nevada, and off the Oregon coastline. And stationary front. From in through the western Washington coastline and the southeastern portion of British Columbia, and a stationary front from eastern British Columbia down to Southern Alberta and, and stretch down to Central Montana and down to Wyoming and down to western portions of Nebraska, and a warm front from northern Kansas, stretch down to Missouri and down to Illinois, and with a stationary front and a cold front from eastern Kentucky and stretching down to Virginia and stretching down to the middle Atlantic seaboard, and a warm front stretching to New England and Pink front from East New pushing down through from under New Hampshire and a cold front from northeast of Minnesota and down for northern Wisconsin and then UP Michigan down for northern Michigan and then down through and station front from Eastern Ontario down through Southern Quebec and down to northern New England there. 
And frontal boundaries from central organ down for eastern Washington. Frontal boundaries from southwestern man. Tiny down from central eye. The whole. And another one from central and southeastern California. And a batch of frontal boundary from eastern California. And down for southern Arizona. And down for western portions of Mexico. And another frontal boundary from northern Mexico. Down for western Texas. And a searching front halfway between southern Florida and northern Pacific Cuba. 25 degrees of temperature right now in Boston, 32 out in Washington, D.C., 38 out in Atlanta, 74 in Miami, 47 out in Brownsville, 42 in Dallas, Texas, 40 out in Kansas City, but we can get to Chicago. Frigid Chicago, it's 12 above zero, 7 below in Minneapolis, 39 out in Denver, 33 out in Salt Lake City, Utah, 35 out in Albuquerque, New Mexico, 24 out in Great Falls, 46 in Seattle, 52 in San Francisco, and 58 in Los Angeles. Let's check to see what the weather is like out in Times Square in New York City. Okay, let's see what is going on in New York. At Times Square, as people are going to get ready to usher in 2014 at Times Square. 20 degrees, but it feels like 20 degrees wind chill. So, those of you celebrating first night out there, bundle up because it's going to be a frigid night in New York and here in Boston. Okay, let us take a look at a forecast discussion here. Snow and bitter cold expected across the northern tier of the nation. Moderate heavy rains with better thunderstorms moving into the southeast United States Wednesday evening and complex forecast setting up over the eastern United States later this week. Bitter cold will continue to settle over the northern tier of the country Tuesday night and until Wednesday in addition to frigid temperatures. An axis of light snow will set up in the north of the frontal boundary stretching east to western across the nation's mid section with chill impact. On the Midwest and Great Lakes and Ohio Valley, although snow should be light to continue the lake effect, we activate the will boost snow falling combination. The piece of energy enough will trigger the light snow showers as it does the feastward toward long. The northern central rock is choosing and then expected to push the boundary stretching in about the middle of the country. This country is stuff eastward in the cold front part in the middle of Mississippi and Ohio Valley is Wednesday and Thursday. Far south, where we will remain active uh, along the Gulf Coast states to the north of the strengthening frontal boundary and then the Gulf of Mexico. As boundary surges north for the warm front on the Wednesday, moderate heavy rains will embed into the thunderstorms will spread into the southeast of the United States. Plan and forecast this has been expected in ringing in the direction with the previously mentioned cold front pressure and in fact in the middle of Mississippi or our valleys. This interaction will set the same for the complex forecast over the eastern United States by Thursday evening. At west, conditions will stay on the dry side as region slides and then all off the exception to this would be across the Pacific Northwest where cold front approaching in the coastal trigger light precipitation Wednesday night and Thursday. And forecast discussion from right here in New England there. And synopsis. Arctic air will be in control for most of the week, especially Friday and the Saturday with a potential for bitterly cold temperatures. Concern continues for the development of storm off the eastern seaboard Thursday and Friday with a potential for probable storm and strong winds for portions of the region along the possible coastal flooding. Near term forecast just a few flurries working across the southern New England this evening in a situation with a cold front. These flurries should come to an end over the next few hours. Otherwise, we will end 2013 on a very cold note while winds will not decouple with keeping the temperatures from completely bombing out. Wind chills will be in the single digits of the lower teens. And a coastal storm will impact the region Thursday and Friday as a coastal storm looks to impact the region beginning Thursday less than Friday. Still a lot of uncertainty as the track to the low can still shift. Here are a few details to iron out. Bitter temperatures begin in Thursday night, less than the Saturday. Friday night, low temperatures will be below zero for much of the region. Probable snow is likely across the region, increasing. Coming at that six inch of snowfall will occur with higher amounts possible closer to the east coastline. Because the winds will occur between the you know, late Thursday night into Friday morning, wind gusts at between 35 and 45 miles per hour, 7 inch to Mississippi, 95 anticipated. Except widespread minor clouds, so flooding with pockets of moderate coastal flooding across the eastern Massachusetts coastline for the both the Thursday and Friday high tides. And track of the storm could still shift if if the low pressure gets closer to the region. We will see a milder storm with a few inches of snow and a mix possible. But if states to the far from the coast, we see a colder storm and we see more snow. So turn in, and this is going to be a chill night. Say goodbye to 2013 temperatures. Poor far across midnight from the teens and the 20s. Dress warm and fed out. The first night of temperatures at midnight will be low 20s to mid teens. Have a safe and happy new year. And we are.
But on cold later this week, Arctic air will linger across southern New England into this weekend. With the coldest air yet to wrap, Friday into Saturday, many locations see well below normal temperatures from now until Sunday or Monday. This prolonged cold may lead to the frozen and water pipes, including fur, er, sprinkler systems and potential property damage that may be especially true in Billings where the heat has been turned down. To conserve energy during this solid period. In addition, please may worry about portable heating devices like this one. These can overheat if not used properly, increase in risk of fires. Okay, let's take a look at our seven day forecast. It goes like this. Overnight hours, the final minutes of 2013 will go like this, but overnight hours, a chance of flurries before midnight. Hot gust gusts will lower in 16 degrees. West wind about 8 to 10 miles per hour. Gusts as high as 26 miles per hour. For New Year's Day, say hello to 2014 in about 50 minutes. New Year's Day, most of the science guys are in 28 degrees. West wind about 7 to 9 miles per hour. Wednesday night, snow likely. Mainly after 1 a.m. Class gusts will lower in 18 degrees. Light and variable wind. Chance precipitation of 70%. New snow accumulation of around an inch possible. Friday, snow high near 30 degrees. Northeast wind about 6 to 15 miles per hour. Gusts as high as 28 miles per hour. Chance precipitation is. 90% new snow accumulation of 1 to 3 inches possible. Thursday night, snow low around 11 degrees, blustery with a north wind about 16 to 21 miles per hour, gusts as high as 33 miles per hour, just precipitation is 9%. Friday, snow mainly before 10 a.m. high near 14 degrees, blustery, just precipitation is 8%. Friday night, most coast clouds low in 2 degrees, below zero. Saturday, most of the night skies are 23 degrees. Saturday night, Park Cost Clouds low in 15 degrees. Sunday, a chance of rain and snow showers, most of the Cost Clouds are 40 degrees, just precipitation is 30%. Sunday night at chance rain and snow, cloud skies below in 32 degrees, chance of precipitation is 50%. Monday at chance rain and snow, most of the cloud skies are in 42 degrees, chance of precipitation is 50%. Monday night, cloud skies are below in 19 degrees, but Tuesday, both of the skies are in 30 degrees. Faders, what a phrase of the night! A frigid end to 2013 and a frigid start to 2014. This is PJ with you. Have a good night with a good positive attitude and I hope you have a happy new year and we'll see you tomorrow morning. Good night and good morning.